Yo, what's up, YouTube? It is your boy Madness, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'm bringing you guys a hand cam video, and as you guys can see, the control that I'm using is the Hyper Signature, and it is the company that I am partnered with on this channel. Hyper Controller does a lot of different controllers. You know, they have like tournament ready, they have signature, and this is the signature, which includes having some kind of grip on the back, as well as some two buttons that I chose. You can definitely get four if you want, but I just need two. And I mean, it just feels great in the hand. Also, it is mad lightweight. Like they take off some weight from the controller, so then it feels, you know, not too harsh on your hands. Also, just listen to the smart triggers, man. And it also has smart bumpers. There are literally mouse clicks on your controller, which is so dope. This allows you to like instantly aim and lock in and shoot, bro, instantly. So you can win a lot more gunfights. And I've seen, as soon as I hopped in the game, man, I've been just dropping bombs, bro. You do not want to miss the gameplay that I have stored for you guys after this portion of the video. More information about the, you do not want to miss the gameplay that I have stored for you guys after this portion of the video. More information about the controller will be in the description below. Other than that, just check out the gameplay and I'll see you guys at the end of the video for the settings. Roll the footage. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be hard, man. What's the name of the college that you want to go to again? I'm gonna search it up. Hot now. Hot. How do you spell it? H A R T N E L L. Hot now college. Oh. Bro, that looks like a beautiful college. What the heck? Bro, James, that college is so nice. Yeah. James, definitely need to go there. Yeah. Bro, and it's a public, bro. Publix and Selena's look like that? Oh my god. Oh, you freaking look, you have an RPG. How my aim, my aim is that bad? Not trying to get used to these smart bumpers. Look at this bot. Actual bot. Oh my god, who's shooting me? I'm dead, no cap. I ran out of ammo. No, I got two guys. I'm actually so bad at this game. It's actually crazy. Behind. Oh, no. I hit him a little bit. Okay. Let's get him. Oh my god, I'm so bad at my aiming. Oh no, nah, I'm. Oh. oh what the hell die bro <laughs> oh my god <laughs> he was not dying bro take that I need my guns, bro. Oh, there's people here, bro. No. Um. What the? Uh, I'm stuck. Please, man. Let me get my loady so I can do some work. <laughs> Oh, Jay. Wait, wait, Elijah, what happened? Running. Who's that going in? Oh, the serpentine? It's crazy. Um. 
Imagine camping Lodi like the rat. Oh yeah, you're garbage. I'm actually more garbage, my aim's so bad. Oh, how'd you not see me, gang? Oh, the Phoenix Tower gas! The Phoenix Death Cons. I can't have these. The Phoenix Death Cons is so good. Hello, Gangatron. You're going in. Ah, I'm gonna die over here. I think I heard someone, bro. Open the chest. Somebody open the chest. No. Oh, I got so lucky. Hold up, 15 with 15? I can get Elijah back too. And we got armor. Not nah, right. Oh, no. Nah. El Pollo, please. Armor, armor. Please, please, baby. Please, please. <laughs> Come on, El Pollo. <laughs> El Pollo, if you want to win, you can give me some armor, bro. Just saying. Oh, I see a guy down there. Saw how unselfish that was, Elijah. I could have went for that guy, but I got you. Like that deserves a kiss. Tell me now. Yeah, start moving. On you, Elijah. Give him to me. Crack. Jump down. Nice. Got me, got me. Bye. Alright. Bye. Love you. No. Oh. oh, he's weak? I'm gonna get you right now, Elijah. I got you. Nice, nice. I got you. Oh, he got you. You got armor? No. Tough sauce. Oh. Ah. No, How do you wanna be in this room? Nice. Yeah, I'm probably dead. Yeah, I'm probably dead. Uh, I'm sorry, dead. James. That's fine. Where they at? Uh, it's weak, it's no? two more people left. Two more people. Nice. Damn, give me the two guys. Mm -hmm. I want a 20 ball. Oh, man, I can't even get it no more. <laughs> I am. Uh, uh, you are a god. That's crazy, dog. Could have been a 20. Oh, oh. You no way. What? Give your money. To let him buy a Yeah. I don't think he's going to do it, man. Drop your money here, drop it. I dropped it, I dropped it. He's not gonna do it, bro. Oh, he got me! No, that was my 19, bro. I dropped my money and everything for it, too. I dropped my head, too, but he's a rat. That could have been a 20, easy. Some slight, some slight. Oh, you wanna run it rat? Bro, well, you didn't, yeah, you didn't drop me back. armor, bro. You didn't drop me armor. Come on, man. No way. Let's teammate. run it back. Let's run it back. All right, so as you guys can see, even though I have, you know, buttons on the back now, I still use bumper jumper tactical flip because of the reason that I'm so used to it. And I mean, just adding that to the, you know, buttons in the back game, it just feels different and it gives me a competitive advantage. So let me show you what I'm talking about. You know, bumper jumper tactical flip, it gives you, you know, your L2 button as your jump button and then you have your 
you know your stick as your you know slide button All on my buttons my right button is for sliding and my left button is for jumping and that goes according to where my hand is when i'm shooting and playing the game so my right finger my right thumb is on the you know sliding mechanic and my left hand my left you know finger is on the jumping mechanic so my left hand is for jumping my right hand is for sliding so same thing my left hand is for jumping on the back button and my right hand is for sliding on my back button i did the same mechanic the same hemispheres so in certain situations you'll see me sliding with my right stick pressing it down or i might use the back button and I do use the back button quite a lot now. After a few games, it did take me some time to get used to again. And you know, same thing with my left hand. I do jump with my L2 sometimes, but I still use my left button quite a bit now. So combining it to my game just gets me out of tight situations. You never know, maybe switching to the back button is better than using the actual buttons on the face. It depends on the situation and the gunfight that you're in. That is my reasoning behind using Bumper Jumper Tactical Flip with actually having buttons on the back. It's all personal preference and that's how I develop my game and it feels great. I literally have a competitive advantage over other people where I know when to use it and when not to use the buttons on the back, when you know it is better to use the actual trigger and the stick or when it is better to use the two buttons on the back. I just know. It comes natural to me and I know when to use one. Now for my dead zones, I have them at 0 0.05 and 0 0.07. So your right stick, you wanna have this a little bit higher than the left stick because your right stick will give you a little bit more you know aim assist and pull when you're aiming in it just feels a little bit more tension on your right stick my sensitivity is 20 20 i play very you know like snappy you will see like my aim isn't the most smoothest but in terms of console gameplay it is better to have a high sense like 2020 this will get you out of a lot of gunfights and you will win a lot of them custom sensitivity presume i have it on and i have these as my numbers once again i did mention this before but having 0.85 all the way up to five times zoom is good because you know for lower zooms like lower optics it is a faster you know left right sway on the gun and up and down so you want to have a lower sensitivity for that and then for anything higher than that you want to have a higher sense because they're slower because the big optics and sights they tend to be you know considerably slower to aim left and right with aim response curve type have a dynamic this allows you to have like the most smooth fluid aim throughout your monitor and you know it is the best aim response curve type to use in my opinion compared to the other ones you know standard is very just you know regular you don't feel like a fluidity throughout your monitor linear is very snappy in my opinion like it's very like you know on the horizontal axis of your monitor up and down it does well but left and right is kind of slower it just feels weird with the, the aim assist pull but the dynamic aim assist pattern is so good and it's the smoothest one over here and every pro player uses it control vibration i have it off because i don't like anything like you know messing up my aim as i'm shooting someone you know i don't want someone to shoot me and then i get startled you know what i'm saying gas mask toggle i have it enabled so in the game you go to your inventory and then you actually toggle it whenever you want to use a gas mask which is a new setting for you know season five aim assist i have it on standard it is the best aim assist to use because everything else is just too much of a pull this is your natural input your natural aim so you want to put it on standard so you do not have too many you know things in the game like the ai controlling your aim precision and uh you know focusing is just too much pull the rest of the settings is you know warzone settings like contextual tap on play behavior on apply all slide behavior on tap and automatic spin on analog tactical sprint and yeah these are my settings for console definitely you want to try them out especially with you know a controller like this where you have buttons on the back as you guys saw you know we went crazy in the gameplay thank you guys so much for watching the video man hope you guys enjoyed the settings i love you guys so much i'll talk to you guys on the next one peace